So today we're gonna make some Vico Express. Looking at my sister-in-law Jackie, or Jackie as my little lady calls her. But she's going over here to the church garden. And she's gonna get some lemongrass. Jackie knows how to harvest some lemongrass. Is that all you need? Oh? <laughs> Jackie don't want to talk. It's okay. We'll bring the, we'll take the bashfulness out of her. All right, Jackie's brought the harvested lemongrass into the kitchen area. And she's gonna clean that dirt off there. And are you gonna chop it? Or are you? Uh, she uh, said none of your business because it's a secret recipe, the Beagle Express. The best recipe and the best version of the Beagle Express in all of Beagle. Your mom makes the best Beagle Express in the Philippines? Mm -hmm. What's this coconut there, Jackie? Mm -hmm. That's going in there? Mm -hmm. Little ladies over here interfering with Sister Mom Jackie's uh, cooking. You know, she's got certain technique she wants to be used in this. Notice she's holding that knife on the blade end. It's not real safe, but this is the Philippines. Anything goes. Jackie is now preparing the lemongrass. As for little lady's instructions, take the knife and smash it down. Oh, I guess you got to break it a couple times. More for seasoning than eating. I don't think we're going to be eating that clump of lemongrass. It's all for seasoning, flavor. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, that is not magic syrup, is it? Is that magic syrup? <laughs> okay, we placed it into the what? It is magic syrup, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it's okay, that's how you do it here. Now she's got some pepper. We got some pepper. You know what kind of peppers the red ones are, Jackie? Yeah, yeah she said yeah. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> She says they're red pepper, and other ones are, oh, she said green. All right, and then she's giving them a good, oh, she's getting a little fancy with the cutting techniques. I like that, it looks good. Pork says it wants to go in the air conditioning. Uh, let's see what we got going on now. All this magic's happening here in the church kitchen. She has ignited the propane stove. Nice little stove there. Go ahead, do, it, do your thing to her, Jackie. Now she's just put that, is that pork? Yeah. That's what I thought. She's got that in the wok. No oil in her. She's gonna add some water to it though. So she, it's gonna, Get a little simmer in there. Okay, now we're getting another. Oh, she's gonna squeeze this and get that beautiful coconut juice out of there. Wow. Let her do her magic. Yeah. All right, folks, I'm looking at this little knife that we have here. I do not like it. It looks like a communist knife. I do not approve of that. <laughs> Jackie, Jackie, where did we get this communist knife? 101? Let me see. Where is this thing made? It doesn't say. Oh, someone's been... Jackie Sharpening. Jackie says it was made in China. It is a red star knife. She's taking that squeezed out milk liquid from the coconut and she's going to press that down and try to get some more out of there. We got a full bowl here. Can I get some cereal? I'm feeling kind of hungry. 
And now she's going to go through all that again. We're going to try to extract more milk out of there. Oh, okay, Jackie said yes. I'm going to stir this up for Jackie because uh, little lady's in here pestering me about my video and her cooking. So what is this? Is this going to be used right here? Yes. That's what is it? That's the gobby leaves. Go goblins? Gobby. <laughs> okay. But you call it in the corn at home. Okay. Wow. Jackie produced more milk than a cow right now. <laughs> From the coconut, of course. All right, little lady, let me make sure that I so that, that is smoked fish. Yeah. Kind of broken up. Yeah, they, they and, the, the bones. And Jackie's working the pork in there. It's going to be a big flavor bomb here. Okay. Is, is that just water in there right now? Water? Oil. oil, okay. So she added a little bit of oil in there. Yeah. Anyway, here we got some. What kind of meat is that, Jackie? Don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that like a shrimp? Uh, all right, got some uh, miniature shrimp. <laughs> is that what they are? Is that what they are? Yeah. All right, so this is a uh, shrimp in there. And Jackie's uh, getting a squeeze on it because there's too much water being retained in there. Don't want to throw that water and that oil in the in the wok. But she's going to. <laughs> so. Is that black pepper? It's like what a teaspoon in each one, I think, probably. A little black pepper. I love black pepper. Can I get a mix on? Jackie is a very good cook. Because she can make some great stuff out of a whole lot of nothing, really. She can make some great stuff out of stuff out in the field, out in the garden, just you name it. Not saying it's cheap stuff. I mean, look at that. You can go to the store and buy some stuff like this, but nothing better than that. All right, so now Jackie's going to add the minced up, chopped up, whatever you want to call it, shrimp. Here goes Jackie with the magic syrup. Little flavor enhancer. Loaded with MSG. Here go the peppers. So this is now, right here, Jackie says, this is Bicol Express. They eat it everywhere in the Philippines, right? She said yes.
All right. So that dried fish is in there. Is there a lot of bone in that fish? Yeah. No bones. Oh, okay. No bones. And the lemongrass. All right, here's the one I've been waiting for. Seeing the coconut milk going. So you're gonna let that reduce. You're gonna let it like evaporate as you cook it. It'll go down and it'll thicken up. Oh, Jackie said yes. That is exactly what will happen. She said, just pay attention and learn and shut your mouth. Let's take a look at this concoction. Got the lemongrass in there. It's sucking up all that flavor out of that lemongrass. So this is the last ingredient, but you're going to wait till that goes, till it thickens up a little bit. Oh, now Jackie doesn't waste a thing. That spent coconut, shredded coconut, she is going to put it on top of one of these lucky plants. She says it works like fertilizer. Feeling kind of like a pest following her around, but this is what I'm all about. All right, folks, this kitchen was designed by the little lady for the most part via messenger because we were in the States while this place was being built for the most part, except for the Improvements. Oh, a new addition to the stew. So the milk is thickened up a little bit. You know, make sure it doesn't burn on the bottom, right? Right, Jackie? It'll, it'll bow ho if it burns. So she's gonna. That'll suck in some of that coconut juice, too, huh? Maybe. Maybe not. We will tell. We will find out. Did you pick that or do you buy that? Do you pick that somewhere or do you buy that? His store or do you pick it? You picked it? Oh, okay. Jackie is hesitant to share the secrets of her success, <laughs> but I'm here to steal those secrets of information. What do you call the greens again? Uh, uh, gobby? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Outstanding. Looking good, Jackie. Or as, as, or as the little lady would call you, Jai. <laughs> so, Jackie, do you like your new cooking area in the back is that a lot better than it was huh mm -hmm. no no bugs the bugs aren't not gonna be a whole lot of bugs it'd be a lot more cleaner right yeah i have just located jackie's bolo and here it is right there little lady has a bolo that she's had for eons but she uh she tends to leave it outside i find it before i cut the grass in the yard sometimes Jackie really isn't taking care of hers really good either. She's got the pointy end on the ground, but I think she said that's for safety reasons. That milk has reduced, and now she's gonna add a little bit more. This is a final touch. Um, 
before adding this, where it was basically tenderizing those greens and oh she's going to throw another twist in there. Got some pepper in there. Now I've been in them peppers before. They're kind of hot. So if I get one on my plate I'm going to have to hand it back to Jackie. <laughs> we got a little rice action going on here. See Jackie doesn't use a rice cooker. She just uses a pot just like we did in the Navy. We use a steam jacket kettle. Same way. Same same exact procedure really all right next time you see this it'll be on a plate okay so here's my plate I have some steamed rice yeah keto <laughs> not today uh, got some Beagle Express it is a little bit on the salty side and some of this green great stuff uh, what do you call it Jackie this is uh, Gulay na na tong, and this <laughs> Deco Express. Okay. All right. Here we go. And in the Philippines, you're not going to find a butter knife much of anywhere. You won't find one here either. Although I did buy some butter knives yesterday. So you take a little bit of rice, and you put a little bit of the substance on. Now mine's about 50-50, normally it's a little bit more rice than main entree, but here we go. Very good. Now I opted not to put the green, or the hot pepper on my plate. A little late though, should be funny and threw that, threw that on my plate. Bad. You got it all. Videoki, videoki going on next door to the church. All right, so here I am with Jackie. Jackie, I want to say thank you for that great lunch. Really appreciate it. Thank you for the lunch. All right, it was great. You make it for me again? Okay. Okay, all right, thank you. Thank you.